In recent years, the explosion in the availability of data has led to an increase in the possibility of traditional econometric models suffering from the issue of overfitting. Overfitting is where the estimated model is overly complex or contains too many variables, causing the model to exactly fit the estimation data, even though it may not fit the population data in general. This can cause forecasts or extrapolations beyond the estimation data to become inaccurate. Elastic net or lasso estimation is a popular method of reducing the overfitting problem and often outperforms classical least squares estimation. To demonstrate elastic net in eViews 11, we'll use the MT Cars dataset, which is a well known dataset with data extracted from the 1974 issue of Motor Trend magazine, containing information about fuel consumption and automobile design and performance. There are data on 32 cars with 11 variables. MPG, the number of cylinders, displacement, gross horsepower, rear axle ratio, weight, a quarter mile time, a dummy variable for engine shape, a dummy variable for transmission type, the number of forward gears, and the number of carburetors. We'll estimate a simple ridge regression model and compare its predictive performance with OLS. To do this, we'll split our data of 32 cars into two groups, an estimation sample of 23 cars and a forecasting prediction sample of nine cars. The variable train is used to indicate which sample each car is in. First, we estimate the OLS model by selecting the dependent variable, MPG, followed by the other regressors and we right-click and choose Open as Equation. Least squares is the default estimation type, so we can just change the sample to be our estimation cars, and then click OK. We'll give this equation a name. To estimate the elastic net model, we again select our variables and open as an equation. We change the estimation type to ENET. We'll choose to model with ridge regression. The lambda field is blank to allow eViews to calculate the lambda path and use cross-validation to find the model with the smallest error. We choose our sample to be the training dataset. On the options page, we use the regressor transformation drop-down to standardize the data and leave all other options at their default values, including five-fold cross-validation. We click on OK to estimate. Now we'll look at the evolution of the coefficients with respect to the lambda penalization parameter by going to View, Graphs, Lambda Coefficient. Notice how as lambda increases, the complexity of the model decreases and the coefficients gradually decrease. Now we'll get an estimate of the forecast performance. We click on the forecast button and set the sample to the test data. We can compare the ridge model with an OLS model by forecasting from our first equation. As expected, the regularized ridge regression model has superior forecast performance compared to the OLS model, 